Hey, I'm Chad with Oki MTV, and let's talk stump jumpers. Uh, I've had mine about a year, uh, and I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it's my third mountain bike um, to purchase, and I got it up here on the rack today because we're doing a couple of things, uh, upgrades that I finally got around to doing, um, somewhat out of necessity, um, and also somewhat out of uh, just finally getting around to it and, and wanting to spend the money. So first off, I really, really like this bike. Um, it's the third mountain bike I bought. Um, second was the Moto Pecane over here. The first was this Marin. Um, so about a $650 bike. Uh, that one's about $1,200 depending on where you get it. I got it half off because it's got a huge dent in it and I really didn't care. Um, but then I upgraded to the Stump Jumper. Still considered an entry level bike, but you get a lot of bang for the buck on this one. Um, things that I really like, the geometry is great, the, uh, the Rock Shock front fork, uh, it's been great. It's done me very well here in Oklahoma. Of course, we don't have a whole lot of downhill, nothing super intense, um, but it does great. Things that I wish I'd have known when I first bought the bike. Um, it does have a flip chip right here. Uh, I rode this thing for months and was just bashing the crap out of out of the cranks you can see a lot of pedal strikes didn't have that issue on the other bikes uh, that this one even with the uh, running a little more air pressure in there um, seemed to help because you know 30% sag it's really filthy and dirty right now I need to clean it but running 30% sag I found myself just like I said bashing these pedals all the time um, and that was before I went clipless I've talked to a couple other people that have had uh, that still have these you know this bike and they they said they do the same thing they find that the, that crank just sits so low to the you know towards the ground um <laughs> and when your pedal is down um even if you're just pedaling you're gonna smack it on stuff uh it is 100 i believe it's 170 millimeter um cranks and just the geometry of the bike it, it hits a lot until i did the flip chip i flipped it uh, and it actually, I mean, it's its just a few millimeters that it brings it up, but it changed the way this bike handled a lot. Um, seems to be a little more agile in the curves, but I don't hit the pedals near as much. Um, and I'm back to running 30% sag. So I would say, first thing you want to do, flip that around. Um, it's going to change the geometry just a little bit. And you're gonna feel the difference. At first, I didn't like it. I felt like the bike was more unstable, but the more I rode it, the more I got used to it, the more I really liked it, um, to where it, it just seemed more responsive. Um, but this was a big one. That was a big deal, getting rid of that those pedal strikes. Uh, the other thing about this bike, it does not come with the, the GX, which is why it's in the rack today. It comes with the SX. I hate this derailleur. Um, this is an awful derailleur. The, uh, this whole upper side, it's all plastic. Um, and it's got enough flex in it that yes, it shifts, but it's just, it's a constant headache, a constant battle. You can have it up in your, on your bike stand, set the indexing, get it, get it just right, get out there on the trail and you're about two miles in and you're, you're trying to shift and you're reaching for the adjustment. You're just, you're adjusting it on the fly. It's a constant headache, a constant just irritation. You know, what what prompted me to finally go ahead and replace this today was I bought replacement sink gears for it. And darn it, if that thing didn't just round out the first time I tried to try to remove it with the right tools, um, round it out, I couldn't get it to budge. Uh, you know, penetrating oil. Finally, I tried drilling it out with the uh, with the easy out set and I broke three drill bits on this stupid thing and then I was like well I'll try drilling it from reverse with carbide and no it, I just kept breaking drill bits and so I was like yeah we're done um, these are pretty worn out they don't actually have bearings <laughs> that's it's just plastic sitting in those little those little cups um, that's wax but I uh, yeah I decided you know I can't I can't change that out I'm just going to get rid of this it's done it i would like to say it served me well but that should be one of your first upgrades next upgrade um not a fan not a fan of the gemini 
the uh, oh, what do we have over here? These are uh, yeah, Tektro different model uh, Dracos. Those seem to do okay. I never had any complaints about the brakes on this Moto Um They always seem to stop me very well. Same with that Marin. Uh, it's hydraulic also. Go around my toy car here. Pardon the messy garage. Um, but these are also Tektros, but they're just generic Tektros. You don't really see anything special on them. Um, and they never seem to do me wrong. I always had a plenty of braking power on these. Um, but those Tektros, not a fan. They just seem underwhelming in their performance. Um, feel like I'm just grabbing them, squeezing way too hard. Um, front brake does okay. Um, it's enough that it'll send you over the bars if you, if you grab a fistful of it. Uh, but this rear one, not a fan. So, rather than spend the money to upgrade these and get rid of them, I did the, uh, the, the, the poor man solution and I upped this to a 203 instead of the 180 that it comes with. Um, so yeah, bigger disc, um, had to get the adapter, which here's a hint, the adapter that it shows will make this uh, go up to the 203 is wrong. Um, instead, it's the exact same adapter as on the front. And I uh, had to do some trial and error to get that right, but it lines up perfectly, stops great. Uh, here's the model number. It is an Obstruct to you, M203. That's the one you want, M203. Uh, so yeah, grab you a good 203, throw this adapter underneath it, stopping a lot better. Um, it actually makes quite a bit of difference. So uh, the tires, went ahead and replaced the tires. Um, I found these online uh, because at the time I was looking to up, you know, up my tire game, which uh, don't get me wrong, the Purgatory and the, uh, the Butcher, good tires, heavy and they don't roll super fast uh, but man they're grippy they they do they do great in the mud um, but i wanted something that's going to roll a little bit faster because the guys that i try to roll with they roll faster than what i can keep up with so i went with the minion ss um, did some review you know research uh, watched some reviews found out these are a good tire um, i went into the front and rear uh, because at the time man tires were really hard to come by uh, but i ended up ordering these from ireland of all places I want to say I paid like $45 a piece and waited about a month for them to get here, for them to ship in. Uh, but man, they're great tires. Uh, went tubeless, uh, did a tubeless setup on them and can run the pressure down. Usually I'm running about, I'm a pretty heavy guy, so about 190. So I'm running these, you know, the rear tires about 27 to 30, depending on which trail I'm riding uh, in the front. I'll have about three pounds less than whatever I'm doing in the rear. Um, yeah, that's it. Stump Jumper, it's a great bike. I really like it a lot. For my height, I'm about 5'9 on a good day uh, until I went to Clipless. I had this sitting all the way at the bottom and it was still ever so slightly tall for me. This is the S3. So the, uh, it was ever so slightly tall. Uh, so what I did for a while, and you can see where it's all chewed up, I actually built a, uh, a cable from here to here so that it, when it would extend, it held it down uh, about 10, 10 millimeter, kept it from coming all the way up. Worked great, uh, but when I went to clipless, now it's, it's actually, it was a little bit low, so I went ahead and raised it up. And uh, clipless, like it a lot. The bike does very well on clipless. It has not killed me yet. Don't, don't go out and do clipless the first time. You're, if you're new to mountain biking, don't recommend it, but with the Clipless, I like it a lot. Um, and I get a good deal on the Shimano's, so. Shimano, Shimano, tomato, tomato. Yeah, that's the uh, Stump Jumper 2021. Like it a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go out and try it out in the morning. This is all wax, because I just spent Saturday afternoon uh, degreasing this chain and just cleaning it, cleaning it, cleaning it to get it ready and then cooked it with some wax. So we'll see. Cleaned all the uh, 
Here's up. That's just normal wear and tear. Uh, but it's been so dry here in Oklahoma the last month until just this last week. Uh, no rain. So the dust was just, it was just killing me. Um, and it was kicking up. Dust was just, you know, building up over here. You can see how dusty this is because I didn't, I haven't cleaned the entire bike. Um, oh, this is the other thing. <laughs> this, this is a tape. I've tried to, well, it's a, what was it? Flex tape, uh, flex seal tape. Trying to figure out a solution for when you're rolling along, you hit a bump, and if you're pedaling backwards, this chain will go down, it gets pinched down in here and just digs into your frame. Um, so a little bit of damage there. It's not super deep. It looks worse than it is because I've actually painted over it a couple times. Um, but yeah, I need to find a better solution for this or just not pedal backwards. <laughs> but this is something that uh, that is a little concerning. At least it's you know on, on a part of the frame that could be replaced if if it gets bad enough to uh, to really compromise it. It's not on the, the main frame. Um, road bike tire. Changed it one day on my motor cane and recycled them. A little bit of protection, but yeah. So, like the bike, like it a lot. Uh, follow me on, uh, yeah, what's this? YouTube, follow me on YouTube. So try to do some videos on uh, trails around Oklahoma, because I'm still fairly new to it, been doing it about a year, and found myself, just after the first few months, literally laying on a picnic table on top of the mountain at St. At, uh, Crispin's, thinking I've made terrible mistakes, because I thought I could handle Crispin's and didn't see any videos. So decided I'll start making videos to help other people who are maybe in their 40s who are getting into mountain biking to know avoid Christmas until you do a lot more riding. Um, I really enjoy Christmas now, but man, that first trip out, that was that was a mess. Uh, so yeah, follow me on YouTube, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I try to put videos out few every, every few months or so because I do have a life and a job. Um, and as much as I would love to be doing this full time and just riding the bike all the time, not quite there, not retired yet. So, um, have a good day.